Welcome to Tete a Tete, a destination for watch lovers where we go beyond the timepieces and delve into the fascinating stories of CEOs and leaders in the industry. I'm Sara Behman and today we have Felix Baumgartner, right? That's yes, it. absolutely. Nice is it to annoying? be here. Okay. Is it annoying that you have someone who's famous with your name as well? Um, this is kind of funny for me, you know, okay. when, when I traveled last, you know, last month actually in the airplane, mm -hmm. this stewardess was like asking, are you D. Felix Baumgartner? And you're like, yes. And I said, for sure, I'm D. Felix <laughs> yeah. Baumgartner. So, so it, it, it's always fun again, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, so, um, you know, but this Felix, we both Felix Baumgartner, so we like extremes, you know. Yes. So uh, it's it's cool. So maybe if you name your child Felix Baumgartner, you're obviously going to get a famous child. <laughs> That's the continuation. <laughs> so let's 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 look into that for sure. Yeah, I'm sure it's an SEO nightmare though mm. for your uh, digital marketing. They have to like remove all the other Felix Baumgartner. No, no, no. But uh, and it's not so it's not so dramatic actually. No, no, no. Okay, so um, I hear that you grew up in a house that was filled with clocks. And your father used to restore clocks, mm -hmm. or still, does he still restore clocks? Actually, he still restores clocks, yeah, absolutely. He's, mm -hmm. a, he's a, a passionate uh, clockmaker. He's really doing that since I'm born somehow, you oh. know, and I really grew up in his passion for clocks. Mm -hmm. And this is a passion I, I, I bring with me into, actually, into my watchmaking, what I do, what I do in contemporary watchmaking today. It's really the passion of mechanics, yes. of culture. Um, it's very important uh, education for me. I was very lucky, actually. Just on my bedroom's yeah. next room was his atelier. Oh, nice! And so, and the guy he was working until you know midnight and, and fighting with some of these clocks because they are really difficult from time to time to make work again. Yeah. So I was really very close in that, and um, that passion is, is still is here. You know? Yeah. I can imagine that um, there's always, or whenever, so whenever you received a clock, I don't know how the, how the clock business is, so forgive my ignorance, but if one clock was sent to your father, um, would he like analyze it like a autopsy? You know, look at it and look at all the, the signs and, and create a story Ab around absolutely it. Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really a knowledge that you know all the uh, original parts and for very often actually there are new parts uh, joining because some were broken or, yeah. or, or, or left but that decreases the value so you have to be very well informed how it's produced how it's finished and he knows all the qualities of the materials the brass which yeah. was used for example in 1750 is a different brass used in 1850 and this is slightly a different color. Actually, the one, the later one is slightly more red, more oh, copper. Yeah. And so you can see if the part is rebuilt later, uh, original or not. So that are, it's really like a science. You know, um, I feel like your father would be very useful to many uh, police, and like the law enforcement or police, okay. if there was a crime and one of the uh, uh, one of the exhibits was a clock <laughs> okay. would they go to someone like your father to be like in the witness stand to be like it the story is wrong the, you know this clock could not have come uh, from <laughs> abs you, you, absolutely you got it actually you know my, my father his his nickname so somehow it was sherlock holmes Oh, was it? So, That's who I was picturing. You know, I was picturing so, someone like Sherlock Holmes. So it's really, he's really the guy who, 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 who can smell when it's not right, you know. Interesting. So then he, he goes into, until he knows what's, what's on, you know. Okay. So. Uh, and so now that's continued, that's prospered with you and your brother when you created her work. Um, and so when you guys did, was your father still a guiding force or did he give his opinion in any of your creations? Oh, sorry or uh, was he more like a nice spectator from afar? So in the very beginning, um, he was kind of shocked, actually. He didn't like at all that we go for contemporary watchmaking because yes. he wanted really that we join him in his art and science mm. of, of clocks and okay. knowing clocks and restoring. And uh, then only with the time, when I've proven that we are able to do interesting mechanisms and invent new way of telling time mm -hmm. and also new complications, 
he started to be very intrigued actually. Oh, and, and, and today, you won him over. And exactly. So in the beginning, the first seven, eight years, he was kind of distant. And, and today he owns several of our pieces. So oh. he's, he's a, proud, uh, a proud father at the end of the day. Is he on a wait list? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're mad at him, you'll be like, the wait list is five years long, mm. papa. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, how is it working with your brother? Is it something uh, like if you guys do you f do you feel like the brotherly dynamics has also seeped into uh, into our work? You know how you have like those bullying tactics, or has that also come into uh, being partners with your brother? You know, uh, being brothers is not easy. You yes. know. Sorry, is he older or younger? So he's older. Okay. So he's older. But actually, he's no more in the company today. So he, he left the company. Okay. He, he was uh, with us the first 10 years. Yeah. And then he had other meanings and other uh, interests. Okay. So then he was in the first 10 years. And uh, for sure, uh, uh, in family, it can heat up, you know. Yes. But this yeah. moment where you heat up, you also have to, to fight yeah. for your position, yeah. for your right, for your idea. And that can even bring out really a very interesting solution. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can imagine. I can imagine dinner was sometimes very heated. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Or his Christmas gifts were mm. yeah, yeah, no, pictures no, it's, of it's you uh, on the cover of magazines. <laughs> Or, or giving interviews with nice ladies as you are. I mean, I'll know. send him the link. That, that <laughs> could also be, you know. Yeah. So now that it's you and Martin, when you reach an impasse, I'm sure there's been so many situations where he wants to go in one direction and you want to go in another direction. But you described him as a kindred spirit in one of the interviews I read. Mm -hmm. um, do you, how do you settle those moments when you guys are literally at opposite uh, and mm -hmm. it's, uh, you can call it opposite, you can mm -hmm. also call it complementary. Okay. And this is the way I prefer, okay. for sure. But I have to say also, now it's 26 mm -hmm. years we are working together. We become actually somehow also like brothers. Yes. And you know, he for sure is from the artistic, creative, uh, the form, the emotion side. I come more from the technical, watchmaking, mm -hmm. technical side. Yeah. But in, the, in this long relationship, even, even longer than my wife, yes, you know, yeah, yeah. so uh, then suddenly we, I take over also some parts from his duties and he took from my duties. With the time, okay. it, it, it goes one into the other. Yeah. And I think this is, is, uh, is, a, is a very beautiful relationship. We, it's we, the yin we and yang of our work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. True. Thank you. So True. <laughs> would you say, um, which is harder? Partnership in marriage or in business? You know, it's, it, this is, is, a, is a tricky question. Yes, I tricky thought question. so. Tricky question. So, but for sure, um, you know, in family business is 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 different than 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 the, you know the business uh, with what you are working on. Yeah. So, both are super important. And for me, you know, I, I leave really both families, mm -hmm. somehow both relations, uh, super important. I will not put one over the other. Yeah. It's, it's just me, you know, both, that this is what I am. And um, both are challenging. Yes, and I think in their the, own way. In their own way. And, and it, it gives also a chance to, to you have all, always, you never arrived. It continues all the time. It's an evolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And actually that's, it's kind of similar, parallel. There are parallels. Okay. You know, that's but, it's, true. but it's not, it's not the same. Yes. It's, def you know? it's <laughs> definitely, it's, it's for sure not the same, you know. <laughs> it's true. And, 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 and that, and for sure we are lucky that it's not the same. So I would perfect. hope so too. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, a question I have is if, um, if we were to ask people, or if we were to ask you, what is something that people would be surprised to learn about you? What would it be? Hmm. Like, do you take salsa class? Mm, no, I was a techno DJ when I was like 15 years old, 18 years old. We had actually here in uh, Geneva a club. You had a techno DJ club. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, I was by myself a techno you DJ. You know, so 
So I, I had a community of, 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 we were a community of cool guys actually still today. I know these are friends and we, 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 we organized the first electronical music even events in Geneva. Never it was really the very beginning of that uh, music um, in the yeah. scene in the in the very early 90s. Yeah. So this is something uh, for me. Music is very important. Ah, okay, so, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah. So I, I I played the trumpet when I was very young, actually in, in, in primary school. So uh, Miles Davis, for example, yeah. is very important to me. Mm -hmm. um, so. People who moved and brought new uh, directions in, into music, and this is also how I was very and still open for electronical music. Mm -hmm. But that was somehow the dance electronical music was invented in my generation when I was, oh, yeah. you know, kind of 16 years yeah. old. So it was really exciting, and so we brought that from the Berlin clubs. Okay, you know, we visited a lot of Berlin, London. Uh, Detroit, uh, we brought that music actually very early to Geneva. So this is actually great because it shows that you have such a colorful past. Would you hope that a book would be written about you in the future? Honestly, I don't care. It is how it is, you know. It's, it's, I, I live my life, you know. Yes. If there will be a book, I have no idea, you know. Yeah. It's, if you know. there was a movie, who would you prefer to play you? Um, you know, um, you know, poof. Uh, Benedict it's, Cumberbatch. It, it will not be, uh, you know, William Dafoe. Uh, Dafoe. It's 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 a it's a cool guy, you know. Yeah. Then, uh, you know, you have you have a few, you know. Uh, what if they select Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> <laughs> so odd. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I'm just a watchmaker. Yeah. You know, as simple as that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it's interesting to, to learn all of that, but so you ventured from, uh, you, you didn't want to follow in your father's footsteps, you wanted to go and venture into your own, uh, but if you didn't venture into your own and you were a watchmaker for an existing brand, which brand do you think your vision and that brand's vision align the most that's in the market today? Mm, that's a tricky question here. That's, uh, that's not easy because at Orwork, we created a universe which is so out of the ordinary, the ordinary, the ordinary brands, mm -hmm. and that was exactly what I what I needed to do to break out of the tradition because I grew up with the tradition. Yeah. So I had to break out, and uh, there are not many brands which are so consequent and pure doing that as as us. Okay. Um, one I can mention, for example. A very nice person behind also is Benoit of Ressens. Yes. He's a very nice guy and actually when he visited us 15 years ago in Basel World, he didn't make watches at the time, he visited us and that gave him the kick. Warwork gave him the kick to start. Interesting. And he created really a collection which is very pure in his approach. So there is no typical chronograph yeah. or tourbillon. He does his style, his vision, his direction. And somehow, this is what we do at Orwork too. You know, you guys have the same energy, you and Benoit. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's correct. really, 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 he, uh, I appreciate a lot. Yeah. Um, there are other important people around, you know, like Max Busser is a, yes. very, a very nice and mm -hmm. very important uh, person. In the industry, yeah. Where we collaborated also several times actually yeah. in the past. So that was always super fruitful and important to yeah. me. Um, yeah, there, there are several people for sure around which are important. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and I, I do see that there are maybe more, or hopefully the future will have more of that youthful approach or, um, you know, non, like a non-retrospective approach to watchmaking. Um, so the future is very bright, Felix. It's, it's only the beginning. It's only the beginning of, of uh, new possibilities, new directions. I think there is so much still uh, unwritten, undone. Yeah. Um, you have our mechanical history, uh, the, the watchmaking culture, the, the Swiss, but you have also the, the electronics. Mm -hmm. You have everyday inventions uh, yes. which come in materials, mm -hmm. in, in forms. So and and it's it's exciting because today we, we can we can express ourselves as watchmakers with all these possibilities. Mm -hmm. 
when I grew up and I started 25, six years ago, it was very strict rules were there for the auto lottery. And now we opened up the playground yeah. and now we, are, we have really a, a great creativity. It's, yeah. it's really so a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Felix, for speaking to us. And we can expect you at Dubai Watch Week, correct? With, with pleasure and always. <laughs> thank you, you so know. much.